Hi, my name is Thor Robertson. Today I'm going to be teaching you about the rock cycle. First, you need to know about the three different types of rocks. Igneous, sedimentary, metamorphic. Each of these rocks has a unique way of forming and can even transform into one another. Now, let's start by explaining how igneous rocks form. This volcano looks like it's about to erupt. Beneath the Earth's crust is liquid magma. Magma usually travels to the Earth's surface through volcanoes. Once the liquid-hot magma makes its way above ground, it cools and hardens over time into new rock. These rocks that form are what we know as igneous rocks. Sedimentary and metamorphic rocks can become igneous rocks by melting and hardening, although this is a very rare occurrence. Now, let's move on to sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are easy to identify because of their name. Sedimentary rocks are composed of loose sediments, hence the name. Parts of igneous and metamorphic rocks can become sedimentary rocks through weathering, erosion, compaction, and cementation. Weathering and erosion are natural forces that cause pieces of rocks to break off into smaller sediments. This is usually caused by wind or the water. These sediments then get carried away and gather over time, as you can see here. This is called deposition. Now, compaction and cementation binds these sediments together with pressure and other earth elements, specifically water. The rocks that form are what we know as sedimentary rocks. Finally, let's discuss metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks form from a process, similarly called metamorphosis. Metamorphosis occurs when other rocks are subject to intense heat and pressure. Let's take a look. Underground, magma can find its way through porous and loose materials. When the magma can't get to the surface, it starts to change the sediments and materials that are close enough to feel its heat. The heat from the magma and the pressure from the tons of material above cause the surrounding sediments and materials to change their composition and structure. Metamorphosis usually occurs at temperatures between 300 and 700 degrees Celsius. These new rocks that form are what we know as metamorphic rock. Igneous and sedimentary rocks can go through metamorphosis if they are buried deep enough under the Earth's surface and if they are exposed to high enough temperatures. Let's get back to my office now. As you can see, rocks form in many ways, and each rock has the potential to become a different kind of rock under the right circumstances. The rock cycle has existed for as long as we can date back. Rocks have been forming and transforming for millions of years. The Earth is made of rocks, and now you know how they form. Thanks for watching. I'm Thor Robertson.